Hi, everyone. This is Hiba from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be working in my traveler's notebook using this beautiful stamp set from Close to My Heart called Beach Party. I love the bold stamps in the stamp set, and I knew I had to use it to document some summer photos. So what I did was I printed my photos in different sizes, and I'm going to create a little collage using my stamps and my photos. So I'm going to start by stamping Keeping Cool by the Pool. Now, I didn't prep my stamp, and it's a really bold one. So when I end up stamping it with my black ink, it doesn't stamp well, and I really didn't like how it looked. So I'm going to grab some white paper. I even think I grabbed a 3x4 card, and I'm going to stamp it on my 3x4 and I will trim it down to fit between my photos. But I don't stop there because I don't really end up liking it and I feel like I need to trim around the stamping. It just didn't work for me. So I will come back to it and change it up a little bit. But for now, I just add it next to my photos. I also really like the summer fun. I thought it was perfect for a title for my spread. But this time around, I made sure to prep my stamp and I just stamped it a few times on my desk. And I will be stamping it right underneath my larger photo. I thought it would be fun to have it centered between both photos and it worked out perfectly. I also love the soda um, bottle. I thought it was so cute. So I end up stamping it right next to my title and it looks perfect. Now that I know where all my stamping is going and I have all my photos set, I can add my journaling. I just trimmed out my journaling into the same size as my photos. I think it was a two by two. I'm gonna add it right next to my square photo and then I'll grab my tape and stick down all the rest of my photos because I'm happy with where everything's set. And this is actually where I decide to trim around my little stamp and cover that boo-boo. I just felt like it looked better trimmed around it than having it as a square. almost done with my layout, I'm going to grab these beautiful puffy stickers from Studio Calico and I'm going to add a few puffy stickers here and there. There was like a little hat, some flip flops, an ice cream cone, and then I'm going to grab my half to tray. So this tray is just full of chipboards that were probably on a sheet of two left. And so I just pop them out of the sheet and add them into my have to tray. And I remembered that I had a bunch of chipboards that were summer related. So I go fetching for them. I start looking through my tray. I found a few that worked really well with my layout. So I end up adding some here and there. I will stick them down and it's a great way to add some texture and a pop of color to my layout. Once I'm done adding my chipboard, I'm going to grab this little stamp from the stamp set. I think it looks like brick that you would find around your pool. And that's, I think that's what it is. So what I thought it would do with it is basically stamp it falling off the edge of my layout. It's a great way to bring in some of that orange from my photos. And it was just so cute. I'm so happy I did that because it really brought the two pages together and it really helped bring in that orange to both sides of my spread. But I believe I'm done. I'm just going to color in my soda bottle and add a few more stamping here and there. And then I call my spread done. Don't forget, I mention this all the time, I use Beth M. Black as my close to my heart consultant. She is amazing and I always have her link down in the description box for you. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!